Um, could we just start off with uh, with team use first of all? Yeah, Ben Davis uh, is the only one still that's um, it's not been training. The Tangy and Lucas didn't train for the majority of last week, and then he trained the day before the match. But this week we've had a fully fit squad apart from Ben Davis. Just given the way they play, how do you even begin to prepare for a match against Leeds? Listen, they, they have a very unique way of playing. Um, I'm sure it's exciting for the neutral and for their supporters, but we have to focus on ourselves. Yes, they'll pose certain, certain problems and certain situations that might be different to other teams, but we can't worry too much about them. Um, we're ready. We, we, we have an idea of how they're going to, to play and the problems they might cause, but will also cause them problems. Um, and it's important that we focus on that. Two wins out of two in the league so far. If, if you can continue this run, maybe even sneak into those top four places, should you be considered for the role full time? And, and do you actually want it? I think that's all hypothetical. Um, if we win, if we do this and... I've said all along, my, my focus, my only focus is on the next game. I, I'm really not, not silly enough to start thinking ahead of, of certain situations. My, my mind has to be on this game tomorrow. And then once that game's out of the way, my mind will be fully focused on the next one. Um, and that's, that's all I have to say on that matter. OK. Um, Gareth Bale's agent um, yesterday said that he's overcome an unnecessary tough ride at Tottenham. But now he's happy and he's enjoying his football. Can you give us an insight into what you've done to help bring that about and what Gareth has done as well? Um, so I can only go off the back of the last two weeks from what I've seen from Gareth. Obviously, I, I experienced playing with him as well. He was a top professional with immense quality. Um, these last two weeks in training, he's been excellent. Obviously, he's, he's produced on the football pitch as well. That's four goals in two Premier League matches. So he's happy and I'm happy. Um, and that's that's important as, as players. We have to be happy to perform to our best. And I think at the moment you're seeing Gareth close to his best. Uh, are you being a little bit modest though, Ryan? What have you done with him to, to help bring this about? I don't know. I don't know. Like I say, I mean, I picked the team. I picked the team from training performances and certain individuals who I feel will help the team within that match. and. The game against Southampton, we, we really felt we needed Gareth because Harry was missing and we needed someone who we could we could rely on to produce that moment. Um, we've got so many options in that, that high end of the pitch, so much quality as well and such professionals who are working hard each day. Um, so there's, there's difficult decisions to make, but Gareth has, has, has proved in the last couple of weeks that he's still got that quality in the final third and let's hope it continues. Just last couple from me, whatever happens with you and, and this role for the rest of the season, do you think you can play a big part in whether Gareth Bale stays at Tottenham next season or not? I think, I think those, those questions and answers are not for me to say. I think Gareth and his parent club, um, they'll be having conversations once the season's over. But I think it would be very... It wouldn't be right of us to, to start thinking of the off season and thinking of next season now, because as a football club, we have to focus on our next four matches. And tomorrow is a massive match. I've said it all along. The next game is so important. And that would be the case until the end of the season. Then once the, the season's done, then I'm sure these conversations will happen. But for the time now, our focus is, is on the matches. Jose Mourinho wasn't out of work for very long. He's already got a job for next season with Roma. What was your reaction to that? Were you surprised that he's back so quickly? And have you had any communication with him since you've taken the job at Spurs? No, no communication, but, but good luck to him. Um, hope he's a success out in Italy. Thank you. Thanks, Damish. George. Thanks, Simon. Hello, Ryan. Um, Ryan, you've been in the job a couple of weeks now. I just wonder, have you got the bug of management? Do you enjoy it? <laughs> Listen, I, I love football. I've said all along when I retired, I knew I'd stay in football because I have a, I have a passion for it. It's, it's been my life, my whole life. Um, I have a passion for helping people. And that's why I was coaching the youth team, the 23s, the younger lads, 
it, it is a passion. Football's my passion. So at the moment, I'm working in football, so I'm happy. Do you, do you think possibly, you know, whatever happens at Tottenham, you know, it's obviously there's a place for you, but down the line, you'd want to manage on your own somewhere else, at another club maybe? <laughs> I'm not thinking about other clubs at the moment. I'm not thinking about two years down the line, six months. I can't. It's football. You can't do that. Um, two months ago or four weeks ago, if I started thinking ahead of where I'd like to be or where I thought my pathway that, that I hear so often in football might take me, it doesn't work like that. I've been involved in the game long enough to, to know football doesn't work like that. So I'm enjoying the moment. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying what I'm doing now. and. Um, my focus is on on the right now. Um, it has to be. My energy has to be to try and help the team and help this football club over the next four matches. You're enjoying it at the moment, but what's the bit you don't enjoy the most? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't... I can't really answer that question, to be honest. Um, listen, there, there's, there's immense pressure, which there should be. It's a, it's a case of not enjoying it, but then also enjoying it because when you represent this football club, there has to be pressure because it's a big football club. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the moment. Of course I am. There's, there's a big game tomorrow for this football club. I know I keep saying it, but it is so true. And my mind, my focus, my energy has to be on that. I can't, I can't deviate from that because then, then that's not healthy for me. It's not healthy for anyone. So my focus and my energy is on is on the match tomorrow. Thank you. Good luck. It's George Vicky Sparks. Hey Ryan. Marcelo Bielsa is often said to be a massive influence on Mauricio Pochettino. I'm wondering, did Mauricio ever mention Marcelo? Have you ever had a conversation with Mauricio about him? And and even though there's a kind of degree of separation there, do you feel like because Mauricio has influenced you, you've probably got quite similar ideas to, to Marcelo? Um, potentially, I'm not sure. Um, of course, I know Maurizio had a, had a relationship or has a relationship with, with Bielsa. Um, he was in his book. He spoke about him. But I, I feel like I, I learned a lot of Maurizio. Um, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Um, so many things, so many good things on the football pitch and off the football pitch. Um, Maurizio has the connection with him and I have the connection with Maurizio, of course. Um, but also, I believe that I view the game in certain ways that might be different to, to Maurizio as well. So it's important as, as a football person, you have your own views. Um, yes, there'll be people that influence you and you take stuff from them. But yeah, I also have my own views. Um, Maurizio is a great man. I, I still speak to him. He's an incredible guy. We have a great relationship. Um, we could speak about football for days, so it's um, it's an interesting one. Will Will you ask him? Will you speak to him about facing Bielsa then? No, no. He's um, he's a manager at PSG. He's got his own he's got his own focus, his own goals, and um, they've got a big end to the season. They need to focus on, and likewise with us, we need to focus on our season. We we feel prepared and we feel well prepared for this game. And, and like I said, hopefully we can go there and put in a performance that warrants three points.